Hi, I'm Ben from The Things Industries, and today I'm here to talk to you about a really cool, practical product for land management, smart cities, and smart agriculture. And that is the Sensaterra Soil Moisture Sensor. The sensor is really simple and compact. It comes in this PVC housing, and it also comes in a variety of depths. Um, on a farm, for example, the soil moisture can vary really greatly by the depth, and so it's important to be able to measure lots of different depths. The sensor is maintenance free and it lasts five to eight years on the enclosed batteries with hourly readings. It's also really easy to pick up and move. The sensor comes pre-provisioned, so it's already activated on a network server and you just need to scan a QR code here in order to claim it. Once you claim it, you can see sensor readings from all of the sensors that you've claimed in the Sensaterra app. So here I have a small sensor which fits in a house plant in my house and I can use it just by inserting it in the soil and then scanning the QR code. Soil type can be selected in the app so you know exactly when your plants need to be watered. Raw soil moisture readings are pretty contextual and so Sensaterra's real IP here is their advanced knowledge of different types of soil. So you just select the type of soil and then they automatically process the sensor data so that you know exactly how much water your plants need. To learn more about the sensor and about soil sensing in general, head over to Sensaterra's website. Because the sensor comes pre-provisioned, you never actually need to use a thing stack to activate it, but be aware that you need the things network coverage where you're using the sensor. Um, but you can really easily configure that even if you have a private the thing stack instance using Packet Broker. So this is the Sensaterra soil moisture sensor. If you have any more questions or you want to learn more about LoRaWAN in general, please reach out to us using the links below. Thanks for watching.